we have some weird stuff going on right now. Um, I'm gonna try to do the segment without getting too creeped out. So haunted houses. Some are pretty tame, leaving you feeling content. Others will scare the living daylights out of you. Oh my yep. God. The madness haunted house in Council Bluffs is known to be pretty freaky. The goal that what? that it will, it will the haunt will scare you into feeling generous. I thought maybe you were breathing on me or Not something. Yet. Welcome <laughs> founder Brian Baines. Is it Baines? It's Bynes? Uh, Bynes. Bynes and Muddy Paws chief spook Heather <laughs> Reese. Chief Spook, you don't look that spooky to me. Give me a day. <laughs> what does that mean? What is that title? Um, Halloween is my favorite, yeah. favorite holiday. So when Brian contacted us, I jumped on the opportunity to work with him mm -hmm. and I've claimed it forever and ever. <laughs> so let's start with the haunted house, the madness haunted house. How did this come about? Um, well, it started, um, I'm not the founder. If there was a founder, it'd be uh, my, one of the co-owners, Josh Bellows. Okay. Um, but uh, he did it out of his out of his driveway just for charity for donations to the Karen Share House in Council uh -huh. Bluffs, and uh, they approached me about two years ago to invest in them to make it a little bigger, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, so we moved into the Mall of the Bluffs. Yeah, and uh, I took over business operations, business management. Okay. Um, so there's there's three owners together: there's Josh Bellows, there's Cody Banks, and then there's me. And we all have separate roles. Yeah. Um, but uh, when we decided to make it bigger, we wanted to keep that spirit alive, and uh, we were really selective on on uh, some beneficiaries that we were going to give mm -hmm. the proceeds to. Um, and muddy paws. Actually, it kind of just kind of happened by by accident. Yeah. Um, I was uh, in Ultra in Council Bluffs. We were look, getting makeup, and uh, we had because uh, we wanted we wanted to cover some of the the human concerns. So we got like the, the spina bifida chapter. Mm -hmm. We had the Great Plains um, veterans, paralyzed veterans chapter of the Great Plains. Um, and uh, spy, the I feel the somebody's cystic smelling me. Yeah, Do I smell okay? I hear the sniffing. Um, the cystic fibrosis. Um, we have somebody close to the haunt that needs a double lung transplant. Yeah. And, uh, and then uh, we're going we're gonna to be donating some money to TJ, the high school, the band program over there. But uh, we we're getting makeup at Ultra, and one of the, and I would I talked to the employees about uh, how we wanted to do something involving pets. Mm -hmm. um, everyone loves their dogs and cats, and uh, one of the employees mentioned Muddy Paws, and I did my research, and they're a really good organization. And they are, we, yeah, we're familiar with them. Now, Heather, tell us about Muddy Paws and what is it that you do? If you can keep a straight face yeah. during all of this. <laughs> uh, oh my God, Muddy I can't. Paws. Hand, can't hit. Really, I'm sorry, I'm not. Trying, I can't handle her. I want to know what you look like in real life, but you are a good little actress. I mean, <laughs> like and you're scary, life. but I'm not like I'm not afraid of clowns. I know people are. If you, you walk around be. this building, I will, when they be. smell me. But you are out of this world. <laughs> what is your name supposed to be? Hi, Bubbles. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And why are you locked up here? Well, I, I actually, they didn't lock me up. I came in and spiced the place up. <laughs> oh, good. Well, you're spicing this place up. We're really, really happy to have you here. <laughs> That's creepy. Well, I had to acknowledge that. Sorry. Muddy Paws. Uh, let's talk about Muddy Paws. Muddy Paws was founded uh, about two and a half, not quite three years ago by Terry Larson. Um, we are up to, I think, 230, 240 volunteers and supporters adopt anywhere from gosh last year was almost 300 dogs i think we're well past that this year um, we do a volunteer food bank help people with the vetting cost uh, pull dogs from the south where they can't necessarily afford heartworm treatment bring them up here and get them treated and adopted out just a little bit of everything and then network with rescues across the country. And who's this little guy here? This is Sir Patches. Sir Patches. Yes. What kind of dog is Sir Patches? He is a, a Pomeranian. <laughs> a furry one. <laughs> Thinks he's a lion. He's a lion. Yeah. And how old is he? He's 14. So is he up for adoption? He is up for adoption, through especially our Seniors for Seniors program. Mm -hmm. Senior dogs matching up That's with cool. senior people Yeah. Uh, get a, a pretty nice little discount. We want to just pair up. The perfect families and he would be great with a retired couple yeah. or someone who's just home all day to love on him well he seems pretty calm pretty he timid is. not like these crazy kids behind yeah. me he's right a good here. balance to him yeah um so how exactly will animals be helped by the money raised at this oh we can do so much with this um we just brought up this week through pilots for paws uh two mamas and their babies from texas 
and we'll be taking care of them. Mm -hmm. We've got two dogs coming in, I think from Tennessee, who are heartworm positive. They've started treatment, but we'll, we'll need additional mm -hmm. follow-up. Um, we can help people with vetting. Um, they may have to give up their dog otherwise or put their dog to sleep. And if it's a good home, obviously we wanna try and keep them there. So we'll help them out with their surgery bills or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever they can use. Now, this Madness Haunted House, I was reading about it online, looking at reviews. This is scary, right? Like, this is not your a tame. House, no, but it's like, I've been through haunted houses where they're not that, you know, they're just not that scary. Sure. Maybe they're catered to younger kids or something, but this one's pretty intimidating, isn't it? Um, Did I read that right? Based on the feedback that, that we've been getting, um, I'd say about 97% of people 97. that come through yeah. are, are pretty scared well if you have um, anything like this girl here you uh I don't go in there. you all you always got you always got uh those one-offs that are like oh this isn't scary but there yeah. it is what it they're is they're trying to be tough i'm sure yeah well, what can we expect from the haunted meet and greet that's coming up tomorrow night um it's a good time last year we, we they brought a bunch of rescue dogs mm -hmm. put them in costumes yeah um allows the line to to meet the dogs, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and, and we raise awareness about what Mighty Paws does. Mm -hmm. um, Cause um, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird alignment because they were getting started at the same time we were getting started yeah. commercially. And uh, so, you know, a lot of people didn't know about them last year. We raised awareness, a lot more people right. know about it now. Yeah. And uh, we'd like to continue that growth for them because they do a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, the Madness Haunted House in Council Bluffs at the Mall of the Bluffs. Yeah. Uh, head out there and check out madnesshauntedhouse.com for more information. And then the Muddy Paws Second Chance Rescue, muddypawssecondchancerescue.com or follow them on Facebook. Uh, if you're not too creeped out, you can head out there and check out the scary haunt and benefit <laughs> you guys. Thanks for all that you do and Thank thanks you. for this partnership. I think that's very cool. Yeah, and you okay. guys are welcome to stay, I think. You should scare <laughs> Mike. He's in, in the restroom. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's kind of a baby. <laughs>